please watch this video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the tips in order to transfer your WhatsApp from the iPhone to the new Pixel 7 or 7 Pro. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone to the new Pixel 7. Probably you just got the new Pixel 7 or 7 Pro and you want to move all your stuff from the iPhone to the Pixel. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. You need to make sure you have the latest iOS on your iPhone. So you're going to go to settings and then you're going to click on general and click here software update. You can see that I have iOS 15.7.1. That's okay because this is the iPhone 6S and this iPhone does not go to iOS 16. The good news is that you can do this transfer with iOS 15. There's no problem. So once I make sure that I have the latest iOS, then do a backup of my WhatsApp. How can I do a backup of my WhatsApp? I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to chat backup. And here you're going to select include videos. You can select here backup daily. You're going to back it up now. The backup of the WhatsApp, it's going to be stored on the iCloud. Once they finish doing this backup, we're going to do an iCloud backup just to make sure, you know, so it finished the backup and now we're going to go to settings. We're going to click on our Apple ID. We're going to click on iCloud and here iCloud backup. So make sure that you do a fresh backup of your iCloud. So by doing this, we're going to make sure that we have the latest WhatsApp backup. So we finish up doing the iCloud backup and this backup is going to contain the backup from WhatsApp. So we are good on the iPhone. What do we need on the Pixel 7? The Pixel 7 needs to be factory reset like this, just as you open it brand new from the box. We're going to click get started. It says connect to mobile network. I don't have a SIM card right now, so I'm going to skip this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi and it says getting your phone ready. By the way, this is an update of a video I did seven months ago. And in that video, I moved from iPhone to Pixel 3. So now that I have the Pixel 7, I want to do an update of that video. Got a lot of views. So thank you so much, guys, for watching that video. All right. So this is the screen that we need. It says copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. So I'm going to click next. Use your old device. You need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. I'm going to click next. Find your old device's cable. Use a cable that fits your old device. This is usually the cable used for charging. Basically, we need a cable to connect the iPhone with the Pixel. I'm going to click next. Insert cable into your old device. And the cable that we need is going to be the lighting to USB-C. You can find these cables on your new iPhones. They usually come with this. If not, I'm going to put a link on the description where you can buy this cable. I think it costs $10, so it's not a big deal. All right, I'm going to connect the iPhone. Insert cable into your old device. So we did that. We're going to click next. And it says connect both devices using the cable. So now it's time to connect this. Okay. And look at this, guys. It says, trust this computer. You're going to click trust. It says devices are connected. On the next screen, you can sign in to your Google account or create a new one. I'm going to sign in to my Google account. That's very important. Okay. I'm going to put my password. Add a phone number. I'm just going to put skip. I don't want to add a phone number. And here, I'm just going to click agree. It says getting ready to copy. If you have a lot of data on your iPhone device, this step might take a while. And that's why I recommend you guys to have both devices charge 100%. Also, if you have a wireless charger, I recommend you to do that. And look at this, guys, because I don't have a lot of data. I only have less than 50 megabytes of data. It says to choose what to copy. You can select everything. That's fine. But to make it fast, because this is just about WhatsApp transfer, I'm going to select apps. You can see that I have 12 apps here. I'm going to deselect everything and I'm just going to select WhatsApp Messenger. I'm going to go back. So I have only one app selected. The contacts, of course, messages, that's fine. Wi-Fi settings, that's good. All right. So I'm good to start the transfer. I'm going to click copy. And look at this, guys. It says transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap start. How do you scan a QR code? With your camera app. All right. Okay. This is the camera. I'm going to put it on top. That's going to open a link. I'm going to click on the link. It says opening WhatsApp, open. And this is the screen that we need, guys. Move chats to Android. Now I'm going to click cancel just to show you how to do it without the camera app. So you go to WhatsApp, you're going to click settings. And here you have the option move chats to Android. Two different ways to reach the same screen. This is what you want to see, move chats to Android. And then you're going to click start. 
It says, continue on your new phone. So technically, we already finished on the iPhone. Just in case, I'm going to keep both devices connected. Uh, Google is going to ask me a lot of stuff. Use location. I don't want. And I don't want to send diagnostics. Then I'm going to click accept. Back up your device with Google One. I'm going to say turn on. Limited warranty. United States. Additional legal terms. Accept. It says set a pin. I'm going to skip this. Continue set up. Keep going to get your device fully set up. Or leave now and get a reminder to finish later. I'm just going to say continue. All right. Let's say continue. Talk to Google hands free. I'm going to put a skip. Access your assistant. I'm going to skip. Pay faster. Skip. Anything else? No thanks. No thanks. It says copy is done. Contacts, photos, and videos did not copy. It says four apps to be installed. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Turn off iMessage. If you plan to move your SIM card from the iPhone to the Pixel, you need to turn off iMessage. That's very easy to do. You go to settings, messages, and you see iMessage, how it's turned on. You have to disable it, right? Done. It says getting your phone ready. Swipe to navigate your phone. Okay, I'm going to skip this. It says all set. You're ready to start using your phone. If you see, I still don't see the WhatsApp app, but that's because something is happening on the background. Look, it says completing setup. So you click here and you can see that um, it's trying to install some apps that you can cancel, you know, because what we need is WhatsApp. And look at this install. Look at this WhatsApp pending. So WhatsApp is being installed right now, guys, on the background. And depending on how much data you have, this is going to take a long time, guys. You need to have the latest version of WhatsApp on your iPhone. How do you check that you have the latest version of WhatsApp? You're going to go to the App Store. You're going to click on WhatsApp. I mean, you can actually try to refresh it. You see how you can set open? If it says open, that means that you have the latest version of WhatsApp on your device. In this case, it's version 22.21.77, okay? Two weeks ago. But if you see update here, you need to do the update. I don't know why this is taking a long time, guys. This also depends on your internet connection. So if you have a slow Wi-Fi, this is going to take longer. Oh, look at this. What's up? It's doing it, guys. 63, 72, 80%, 87. Installing now, it says. Boom. So it already installed. If you go to your apps, it should be here. Right here, guys. So you need to open it. Welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. Allow WhatsApp to send you notifications. Allowed. And here is when you need to um, put your phone, the same phone number that you use on your WhatsApp on the iPhone, you need to put it here, guys. 786-753-4663. Okay, so look at this. Next, you enter the phone number. Okay, now I'm going to make sure. And there you go. This is the code. Look, okay, your WhatsApp account. The WhatsApp code is 480-878. Contacts and media, continue. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts, allowed. Allow WhatsApp to access photos, videos, music, and audio on this device allowed. Importing chat history. So this is what you want to see, guys. Okay? Importing chat history. We need a permission to restore your chats. Okay, we're going to click start. Importing, importing, importing. Import complete. Next. And now you can set up this uh, backup stuff daily on this account including videos, and done. And here it is, guys. All my WhatsApp, guys. All the WhatsApp that I used to have on the iPhone are here. And this is the bigger one, guys. Look. The stickers. Emojis, pass. Sticker, pass. Okay, these are the stickers. Files. I also put files there. All the files. Contacts. Photos and videos. Everything move, guys. Everything move. You can click just to make sure that that the videos are working or the pictures are working because sometimes you see the thumbnails but the pictures are not working okay so i just wanted to show you that everything is working guys i'm really happy guys because this is a hundred percent successful and look at this don't forget to subscribe guys all the stuff is here no
so no problem at all. And now that I have it here, now I can move my SIM card to this phone. So I'm going to start using the Pixel instead of the iPhone. And here, of course, I'm going to make sure because this is what happened. We just move all the data from the iPhone to the Android, right? But on the iPhone, the WhatsApp backup stores on iCloud. On the Android, it is stored on Google Drive. Once you have it on Google Drive, you can move it to another phone if you want, like a Xiaomi or a OnePlus, whatever phone that you have. You, once you have it on Google Drive, then you're good. So that's what we're going to do. Chat backup, okay, 48 megabytes. Make sure that you select uh, an email. Do not click backup using cellular because it's going to cost you, including videos, and backup. Look, I'm backing it up on Google Drive. Once I have it there, I can move the backup to any Android device. It doesn't have to be Android 12. It can be any Android, any phone, any brand. So that's the beauty of having your WhatsApp backup on Google Drive. Let's wait for this. But in the meantime, let me recap. Basically, what you need, guys, is you need iOS 15 or up. Make sure to update everything. iOS, WhatsApp version, make sure to backup. Backup WhatsApp, backup iCloud. Once you have all that, then make sure your Pixel, your new Pixel 7 or 7 Pro or 6 or whatever Pixel you have, make sure that it's factory reset. That's the only way that this transfer works. And then, guys, you're going to need a cable that is going to go from lighting to USB-C. Connect both devices. Make sure you have 100% battery. If you don't, make sure you have a wireless charging device so you can put the devices there, you know, wireless charging so you don't have to worry. Because I only moved 48 megabytes and you see it took a long time. Imagine if you start moving gigs of data. This is going to take longer. All right, guys. So, guys, I think this is going to take longer. So I think we accomplished our task that it was moving all the WhatsApp chats from iPhone to Android. So I think we're finished. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you help me to create more videos for you.